Thank you. The first frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. The only man who's got more titles than these two is sat next to me. Looking forward to this one, Stephen. Yeah, this is pretty much as good as it gets tonight. It's just probably a little bit unfortunate that this is at the start of the week and not at the end. More than worthy of a final of any event. If you go and play from this afternoon, you'd have to make Ronnie a slight favourite. What was unusual about John Higgins, although he had back-to-back -back centuries, the amount of unforced errors he made in that match was very unlike him. Can't afford them tonight, it goes without saying. What was interesting, I think, about O'Sullivan was he was really ultra-attacking, he was really aggressive. Some of the shots he played were a little all or nothing, but he had the two centuries in a row. Question of whether he'll play that all-out game against Higgins. It's a little bit the mutual appreciation society with these two. They both are very much respect and admire the other. Slightly got away with that in terms of the red in the middle of the table. Very fast table, this Rasson table. Yeah, John Higgins actually commented on it in his post match interview how fast the react of the cloth was. Oh, no, that is a, what you call a wide. That does not fill you with confidence as your first attempt at a pot in a match. players started very slowly in the matches this afternoon. Another interesting aspect of tonight's match will be who wins these safety battles because both players are outstanding in that department. Probably along with Mark Selby the best in the business. be a scrappy frame where the, where the black is. I think blue and pink are in the open. But the black is where these players want to be. I think that cue ball's just edged out far enough to leave a red to the far right corner. Looked at first that it was going to be safe. of here top spin into the bunch of reds and free the pink spot my cue balls actually held the pink spot and well that reds come over very nicely it's got a choice of two to the right corner well, maybe not so easy to manufacture the cue ball though he's gonna have to seven screw this cue ball through the reds almost Eight. Yeah, settle for that. That's perfection. Higgins just looking to get going this season. He was saying in Crawley that took the 
world final defeat pretty badly to Mark Williams because of course it was two in a row having lost to Selby last year and just didn't really have the enthusiasm but he'll be bang up for this tonight how could he not be playing Ronnie O'Sullivan 40. in this big tournament this might just get him going if he can come through 50 they first played professionally against each other 24 years ago Twenty one. Well, the way the reds are situated 22. around the pink, you shouldn't see the, the cue ball travel very far at all. If John Higgins is to make a frame win and break here, just a series of little stuns, screws, little slow follow throughs. No cue power required in this break, just a nice touch. But you've got to concentrate on the pot. John Higgins, 22. Miss. Again, it's one of those unforced errors. There's no explanation for missing this. Very unusual. Six. Seven. Remember, Ronnie O'Sullivan has never not reached the final of this tournament. He's won it twice, he's been runner-up twice. Thirty. Fourteen. Twenty. Twenty one. Pretty much carbon copy of the pink that John Higgins missed. And 27. Watching it again, it's just incredible how, how players of this standard can miss 28. such easy pots. It seems incredible to think, but if you're not concentrating, you can miss anything. And John did say in his interview, if he misses the shots or plays the shots he played this afternoon, he would lose heavily tonight. So 34. I hope that's the last of those unforced errors. 35. Yeah, because it was 6 0 to O'Sullivan at this stage last year. His first attempt at a pot in this Fort. frame was well wide. But he was given another chance. Forty one. So after this red, I don't know if the red that's closest to the black spot goes to the right corner. Forty seven. After this red, this is when things get a little bit more difficult. Forty-eight. 
Doesn't want to be dead straight in this pink. Just off straight, he may force the cue ball through and can in the black here. That's what he played. Didn't quite get the black. Cannon's a black fool in the face, he's got a choice of two reds. 54. Well, he's going to need another red, so it's all about this next shot. Yeah, he can play a cannon in the black again. If he misses it, he's still going to be on the red that's closest to the cushion. And he's got too much in at the cue ball. 57. So 35 the difference, 43 on, so John Higgins... Still with some hope in this first frame. Roy O'Sullivan, 57. snookered on these two reds can get to the edge it's caught it thick it's okay this red does go to left corner but John's not even giving it a second glance so try and keep it tight try and force a better opportunity from his opponent choose to play cushion first here. Yeah, he's coming to look at it because that way he can't leave the red that's to the left of the table on. He's going to catch this right. He's going to catch it thicker than half ball at least. Mm, that's a problem. Caught the red too thin and that's cost him the first frame. Yeah, the really costly error for Higgins, of course, was that pinky miss doing his in, and he can't afford those tonight. Came completely out of nowhere. Yeah, he's done all the hard work. Got all the reds into a really good position. I say it was the simplest of breaks to try and win the first frame. And he just completely took his eye off the pot. Four. Eight. Ten. <coughs> Thirteen. Seventeen. Well, it's the latest chapter 22. of one of Snooker's great rivalries. 
64th meeting between Ronnie O'Sullivan and John Higgins. It was a pink that Higgins Wait, missed that turned the tide in Elton Frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan made 57 and he's got it again to play in first block. First to six to reach the semi finals. Ronnie O'Sullivan leads John Higgins 1 0. Welcome back to the Rico Arena here in Coventry. Ronnie O'Sullivan won John Thank Higgins nil. Second frame. John Higgins in the quarterfinals of the Champion of Champions. If ever there was an aptly named tournament for these two, this is it. Between them, they've won 63 world ranking titles, including nine world championships. First played each other actually as juniors. The first big meeting was in the World Masters Junior Tournament in Birmingham, 1991, where O'Sullivan was a big favourite, but Higgins beat him, and then in the final, he beat a young Welsh lad by the name of Mark Williams. One. Just left himself a little tester, blue to yellow pocket. on the blue to be able to go right into the pink get these reds open as soon as possible seven we did that this afternoon quite a lot John Higgins over hit lots of positional shots to say unforced error if it's end of break rainbow Eleven. Well, this looks as if it's finished. Sixteen. First glance, absolutely. Perfect, just to nudge that red away from the black. What a result there. Surely not. John Higgins, 16. Well, that's incredible. I mean, it's a fast table, but apparently not fast enough. 
it was the only way I could play that shot dead weight because any harder they wasn't going to be on the black. Red, in off the red to put the one over the pocket. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Well, not only did he put the red, he actually had the foresight to put a little bit of side on to help it get positioned on the black. Look at the way it comes off the second cushion. Beautiful little shot. Eight. I think you always expect matches between these two to be close, but actually recent ones haven't been. Sullivan won six nil here last year. And in some of the home nations events, Higgins has had some some big wins. Five nil, five one last two tournaments. Sixty. But the signs are not good for the Scotsman so far this evening. Another chance there he had. I think when you've got two two players who score as heavily as these two is on any one given night. Obviously, when someone's sat in their chair, there's nothing they can do about it. So if one of these guys hits form, heavy defeats can happen. Got the rest. 24. You go by body language, the way the players are going around the table. There's no doubt who looks the more positive. That's Ronnie. John, even this afternoon, you know, just looks a little bit tentative, a little bit low in confidence. 31. Well, that's incredible. He's hit the bunch in exactly the, the perfect place. To not be on anything. Watch this. Important here that he missed the pink and got into the reds right in the middle, and he did that. Very unlucky. This is quite an acute angle if he's taking this red on to the left middle. Mm, thought better of it. It in. He's unlucky not to be on something easier. Yeah, it was almost as if he knew the safety shot was the right shot, but he just wanted to keep potting. He felt so confident. 42. Didn't want to leave the table. 43. Only his third tournament of the whole season, but of the previous two, he won the first one in Shanghai, got to the semis 49. the second, the English Open. 
Checking the scores, a couple more reds needed. 56. Fifty-seven. That was funny before that last red run. He actually shook his head because he was an inch out of positional play. Probably most people at home were thinking he's perfect on that red. Sixty-two. Well, it was Higgins who left a red short to this pocket. Sixty-three. And he's been punished. Crossing John. 68. He was in first in both frames, but he's lost both 69. of them. 75. Well, he made two centuries this afternoon 76. to take his career tally to. 959. 82. 84. You would think somewhere around crucible time, possibly, for the thousands. But he sort of seems set up for that, doesn't it? You know, a show stopping thousandth century at the World Championship. 87. He made 74 last season. It just depends how many tournaments he plays in, I guess. But it would be just like him to do it there. 91. 96. This is going to be another one for the total. 102. <laughs> Third century of the day. John Higgins has got to cut out the unforced errors because. <laughs>